So uh, we see you every night on, on TV, but uh, obviously you have not forgotten what happened in January when when the dogs, I mean, in spite of Alabama, you know, spotting them uh, a win because their two best players didn't play. We've heard that from from Nick Saban, and it was a rebuilding year after all. How, how's all this going down with you, Al? Yeah, I love that. After the fact, revisionist history. Shut up. Um, I got to be <laughs> honest, Paul. Like, I know the adage is that it's great to be a Georgia Bulldog, but right now it's kind of complicated. Like, this is the first time I've ever embarked on a new season as a champion. And I don't know how to feel, you know. I, I feel like for so long, we've talked about this, we were long-suffering. We were sort of, you know, the home of Loserville. Everything was really sad and horrible. And it was a lot of woe is me. Now, not only are we champions, we're super champions, if, of course, you count the Braves. And, of course, you would, even though they're not college football related at all. So I feel confident, but also incredibly nervous and I think that you know why I feel nervous I feel nervous because of what we're going to trot back out under center again Paul so uh, I wanted to ask you because your people uh, the Georgia Bulldog fans feel disrespected uh, they're number three in the country nobody's really thinking they're going to win it again they don't understand why they have whatever they have over there uh, do you think that just comes with being a dog no, okay. It's like, I love my people, but like, we need to stop. You don't make history for having the most draft picks ever and not think there's going to be some attrition. You lost 15 players. You are returning only 18% of the production on your historic defense. You're talking about a defense that only allowed 10 points a game last year, which was an incredible amount of deodorant for at times, which was a funky offense. And so that is concerning to me. Like Ohio State and Alabama are returning more people. That's just the simple fact of it. I'm concerned because of Stetson Bennett and I feel torn about it. Like I sat on this very show, Paul, a year ago, you remember this, lamenting, here we go, Stetson Bennett, oh my God, what are we doing? This is gonna be a nightmare. And did he come through-ish? Yes, he did. We won a national championship, but this is the best way I can describe it. With people that don't think I'm being fair to Stetson Bennett, okay? People who say, like, what else do you want from this kid? Like, you guys want a natty, give him a break. He's disrespected. I have a four-year-old daughter, okay? I know that she cannot spell, but a few weeks ago, I just randomly pointed out a word and she spelled, she spelled mom. She said it correctly. Now here's the thing. I knew to just count my losses and walk away because in my mind, she don't know how to read. She just got incredibly lucky. So because she could do that that one particular day, I wouldn't exactly put her in the script spelling bee. You feel me? And I feel like that's where we are with Stetson. Every dog has its day. Quite literally, that dog had his day back in January, but I don't really want to tip fate by seeing if he can do it again. I, I, I would never, I, I might put words in somebody else's mouth, but I would never do that to you. Um, but it seems like you're, you're saying out loud you know, what a lot of people whisper. It's like, you know, what you hear in church and out of church. I know that's not a good comparison, but we all love Stetson Bennett, but I still haven't figured out why he came back. Have you? I, I like I said, I don't, I don't understand. Listen, Either he is a sadist, right, and he just lives for pain, or he knows something that we don't know, <laughs> which is that a competent Stetson Bennett, a national championship winning Stetson Bennett is a different Stetson Bennett. It just feels like you, you had it. You had your moment in the sun, Stetson. You could have walked away. You could have bought car dealerships in Atlanta for the rest of your life. You could have sold frozen entrees at a Publix for the rest of your life. Georgia loves you forever. You'll always be their guy, but, like, why come back for more? It's not in an attempt to make some surge to the pros, right? We don't believe he's like going to be a top draft pick in the NFL. I don't think anybody believes he would start on an NFL team. So I don't understand what else is left for you there, Stetson. Like I said, maybe he just knows something that we don't know, but I've got real concerns there. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.